Ini Hello Jonathan. Hello. Hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Chrissy. Joanna. Hello, Marilyn. Jacqueline. Marcela. And Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So I have like eight people connected and still waiting for the rest. So good, good evening, teacher. Hello, Roxana. It's a pleasure to see you here once again. Good evening. Good evening, Shona. Good to see you in the class. And, and I hope that you have prepared your presentation. Okay, because tonight you will have the opportunity to, to let us know a little about the person you, you know a lot, physically and uh, regarding to his or her personality. Is that right? That's the first activity. But before getting to that part, you know, let's start talking about a, a new expression that you have learned, a new word, a new phrase, a new sentence, a, a new song, or something new. Let's start with Jonathan. Jonathan, go ahead. I don't understand. Uh, Jonathan, I'm asking about the permanent homework. La tarea permanente que tienen cada vez que oh. entramos al inicio. Ok, en esa parte vamos. Ok, Jonathan. Ok, ok. Hello, everyone. I learned the, the following phrase. Do, li, do, do live a credit life we must lose or fear of being wrong. In English Good translation. Evening. Good evening. Ok, go ahead, Jonathan. Yeah. En, espa en español significa para vivir una vida creativa debemos perder el miedo a equivocarnos. Creo It's, que wow. es bastante aplicable en el inglés, ¿verdad? Que a yeah. veces nos da miedo como hablar y, y la verdad que con este tipo de actividades uno va como perdiendo ese miedo. Exactly, that's what we're looking for, right? That you, that you practice, okay, a lot. Okay, then uh, as I said, the, like a couple of days ago, the more practice, the more, uh, the more you learn. Okay, so that's the key to succeed in English. Okay, to be to to persist, to to study, to pronounce, to actually to to practice in general. Thank you okay. very much, Jonathan. Congrats, okay. Shohana. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, Jorge. Welcome. So, you know, uh, for the people who are just getting into the class, we are in a part about the permanent humble, right? So something new that we have learned today. That's what I'm looking for just right now. Shoana Stephanie, go ahead with the with your part. The phrase? Yeah. Uh, be strong, be powerless, you are never alone, Joshua, one night. Wow, great. You are never alone. Good. Thanks for. Alone. Thank you very much, Joanna. Uh, Chrissy. Do me the favor to activate your microphone, Chrissy. Uh, well, uh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, bueno, la frase sería: What is the meaning about this word? Ah, okay. ¿Y ¿Cuál so... es el significado de esa palabra? Sí, yeah, porque that's... para mí es importante sí practicar y, y a veces son palabras o preguntas rutinarias, ¿verdad? What exactly. is my meaning about this word? Igual, um, eh, wonderful, eh, por ejemplo, la oración, this is a wonderful person. Uh, and this is a wonderful night to learn English. Excellent, Chrissy. Thank you very much. Great effort. Very good. Let's, let's. Uh, take advantage about the information Roxana got. Hello, Roxana, go ahead. This day I have been oh, sorry, sorry. Um, this day I have been learning uh, idioms. Uh, for example, uh, break a leg. And the meaning is, uh, buena suerte. 
Exactly. Uh, also, um, ruled tombs, es reglas de oro. Mm -hmm. And easy, easy, algo muy fácil. And also, um, it's a, uh, it is a big, it is a big deal. Es un buen trato. <laughs> Yeah, it uh -huh. is, right? Hey, learning English is a That's big it. deal, right? Learning English is, is, is a big deal, right? It's a big deal. Yeah, to learn English is a big deal. Thank you. Thank you, Roxana. And congratulations, because little by little, as I told you before, you will learn a lot of vocabulary. Linda Ora, your opportunity. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Palabras nada más. <laughs> Me cuesta mucho el pronunciar, pero sí, por ejemplo, it's here. Está aquí. Okay. Is there. Está allá. Uh -huh. eh, con here. Eh, ven aquí. El. Is to move is to it's too much es demasiado para es pequeña frase que excelente no and they are quite important right I told you todo es importante okay todo es sumamente importante okay, okay. Marita you wanna you wanna practice yes yes thank you God for another day. Thank you, God, for another day. Good. Thank you, Maritza. Jorge Jose. Hello. Hello. And I learned the, the expression go ahead. Go ahead. And the and the temple. Maybe learn English. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Let go and learn English. Go ahead. Don't stop. Continue. Okay. Uh, well, Juliana says, Good evening. I will be as a listener. Okay. Okay, Joanna. I got it. And well, listen, people, we're going to start because yesterday uh, we. I told you about a humble assignment, right? About describing a person regarding to personality and physical appearance. Well, I will share something that I have here. Ah, and besides that, I told you about the importance of completing the exercises of the, the I mean, the, the midterm exam. So that's why uh, we're gonna we're gonna have different presentations, okay? And later, we're going to solve the exercises about the midterm. And in case you have a um, further explanation, I will help you. Okay. Well, Mindy said, hi, teacher. Okay, Mindy, I got it. So, you know, this is, this is the midterm, right? So we're going to be like working on it after the presentations that you, um, uh, after the information you will present tonight. Okay, so, well, we're gonna start with, with the topic just right now. Now, let's see. Teacher, perdón, Hello. perdón, antes de, de comenzar la clase, nos acaban de enviar un link donde nos piden que evaluemos a los maestros. Ok. Entonces, deme su nombre completo porque no, en la primera clase lo anoté y tanto que he hecho que no, no lo encuentro. Uh, ok, my name is Enrique. Uh -huh. Ernesto Morales Portillo. Yes. Portillo, ok. Uh, Thank you. Okay, Thank it's you in the picture. it's in the chat also. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, let us start, people. Let us start. Remember, humble, humble about 
about personality and about physical appearance. A person you know quite well. Now let us start, I will. Well, we're gonna start by listening to Carolina, Carolina Vasquez. Hello, Carolina. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. No entendí, perdón. Uh, Carol, Carolina, uh, we're checking the homework assignment on and the description of a person. Okay. And the description of my husband. He's a tall. Chewy, white skin, color eyes, black eye. His personality is very funny. He has a good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. He is very sociable and funny. His tone of you is very strong. He is hardworking. He likes to eat everything. He is also very strong and has excellent retentive. Uh, his name is Jonathan. He is um, 41 years old. And we have two sons. Oh, Thank you. great info. Great information. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you very much. Now, Henry Escobar. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I will describe to my wife. Okay, her name is Sonia. She was born in San Salvador on April 10, 1984. She is thin and medium height. Her hair color is dark brown and curly shape. Her eyes are brown with long lashes. Her skin is clear. She is cheerful, friendly, and a smiley person. She also has a strong character. She likes to listen to music and read. Her hobbies include walking, playing piano, and singing. She speaks English and some Portuguese. Thank you. Wow, a great information, Henry. Congratulations. I can notice that you have been practicing. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank for doing your best effort. All right. So we have Henry and now let us listen to Jacqueline Vanessa. Jacqueline, are you there? Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah, Leslie, you can participate whenever you want to. But Jacqueline, I don't know, it seems as if Jacqueline is facing some problems with microphone or I, I don't remember if she's a listener tonight. But let's continue. Jennifer Flores, go ahead. Hello. 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 Eh, me disculpan si escuchan. <laughs> Eh, es que le tengo un programa a la niña porque estoy con ella okay. así que por cualquier interferencia me disculpo de antemano ok Jennifer eh, bueno good evening everyone right now I, uh, I will describe the most important person in my life eh, she is my daughter her name is Emily Elisa She's uh, five, uh, five months, and she is a very smiling, a smile, a smiling, and quiet person. She has brown hair. Uh, her eyes are brown. Uh, she's small and a little chubby. <laughs> uh, her feet are small, and her hands are 
pretty. She is very cute and she likes to play with me or her father. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she is a very happy and she is a very beautiful. <laughs> now, did That's you? Wow, well, did you? That was great. Did you use the adjective cute? Cute? Yeah. You, you should for the meaning of you should look for the meaning of that adjective cute because uh, everything you described about your daughter seems to be like the, your daughter is very cute very cute uh -huh. you should look for that for the meaning of the word thank you jennifer Flores. that was quite good also thank you very much Now, let's continue with uh, yes, Jessica Yesenia. Jessica Yesenia, are you there? Let's continue. Shoana, the opportunity. One, one. Shuana, Stephanie, uh, Araujo. <laughs> uh, I am going to describe my friend. Her name is Liliana. She is tall, white skin color, has black hair. She is sympathetic, intelligent, friendly. She is 32 years old. She speaks English and French. She is a beautiful and young woman. Great. Wow. She speaks French also. Yeah. One of these days, invite, invite her to be in the class. So we don't know if we can learn a little bit of French also. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. That was quite good. Now let's continue with Joanna Alas then, because I, now I remember we have two Joannas here. Joanna Alas, your opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for doing your best day for Shoana Alas. Uh, let's continue. Jonathan Ulises. Hello, classmate. My name is Jonathan Guzman. I'm 34 years old. Uh, I'm going to tell about my wife. My wife. Uh, her name is Delmi. She is 35 years old. She is a small uh, teen. Her eyes and her hair are brown. She is very funny and, and smart. Also, she has a, a, pit, a pet. There's a dog in is coffee. The hair is white. Uh, it's very lazy and hungry. And hungry. Thank you. And angry. Okay, you're 30 years. Jorge Jose. Thank you, Jonathan. Jorge Jose, go ahead. I introduced to my friend. Her name is Georgina, but we call it Gigi. Gigi is from Spain and actually she's live in El Salvador. She is a journalist at the local TV channel. Gigi is 30 years old. She's really tall and thin. Is very kind and talkative. She likes read books, watch movies, and play the violin. Wow, great information, great pronunciation, and I can notice that you've been practicing. Thank you, Jorge. Well, I hope everybody has the opportunity to participate. For me, it's important everybody participates in the class. Mm. Okay, Jose Argueta, go ahead.
Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I describe uh, my nice. Uh, her name is Victoria. She has white skin, brown eyes, and her hair is curly. Tomorrow is 10th birthday. She's a good, very study girl uh, who likes English. And her dream is uh, to be in an English teacher. Wow. Congrats. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Good option. Okay. To become an English teacher. You, it, she will <laughs> be happy. I, 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 the person will be happy, right? Of course. Yes. Uh, he, he, she is. And. Uh, with the, her her mom, uh, my my prima, my prima, come on, come on, say my prima. My prima is is teacher is teacher English English oh, teacher. Yeah. Your cousin is an English teacher. Okay, thank you for sharing the information. Thank you, uh, Jose. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, Juliana. I forgot if it is Juliana or Juliana. Cartagena, right? Sí, sí, acá soy. Okay. Um, eh, bueno, evening, eh, teacher y everybody, evening. Um, my friend, um, my friend is Lily. Uh, your name is Lily. Uh, she is an, a nice person. Um, Lily has black hair, hair and long hair. Um, she has brown uh, eyes. She is um, also very, very tall and, and um, delgada. No sé cómo. Skinny, thin, slim. Okay. Um, she is she is um, a very person. Uh, is a uh, very funny, funny. Um, is my um, is my friend. Um, my best my best friend. Um, well, this is all. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Now, we can, can we call you Juliana or Juliana? Uh, Juliana. Ah, Juliana. Okay. I, okay. I will try to remember it. Thank you, Juliana. Well, okay. Ka Catherine is in the chat and she said, teacher, can I do it? Of course. You can do it, Catherine. Go ahead. Hi, good evening. Hi. And... I described to my mom, her name is Elizabeth and she's four years old. She's a little short and her beautiful eyes are color brown. Then she's good at cooking. And for me, she's a wonderful person cause she loves me and she takes care of me. Also, she teaches me to cook very delicious and her favorite food is chicken for Christmas and her loves to cook it. And <laughs> she has a beautiful eyelashes. And finally, I will love her for the rest of my life <laughs> and that's it <laughs> wow awesome great information remember the teller if it is possible to invite us to go to the christmas time and, and try her, her chicken mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> thank you for sharing the information and for practicing english all the time well Almost done, right? So uh, I hope everybody can participate. Let me see. Um, I still have um, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Then we're going to go over with the midterm, which is like the second part of the class. Uh, Karen, you can do it. Go ahead, Karen. And also Magdalena, right? Magdalena, you, I don't know if you want to participate. Good evening. Uh -huh. Karen, go ahead. 
Tonight, I will talk about my daughter. Her name is Magali Giselle. She likes, um, she likes uh, to, uh, to be called her second name. She is five years old. She is a happy girl. She is a very good friendly and a little she. Her body is slim. Her hair and eyes is brown. And uh, Giselle's favorite color is purple and pink. Uh, her uh, is the girls in my eyes. Wow, great. Only. Only that, enough. That was fantastic. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for sharing the info. Thank you. Okay, now, I, and now we can see Magdalena. I think Magdalena and after Magdalena, Chrissy. And after Chrissy, Jessica. Okay, Magdalena, this is the opportunity. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I'm going to tell you about my friend. My mm -hmm. friend name is Suleima. Her last name is Perdón. Uh, your phone number uh, is C call four two three four five five. She lies she in San Salvador. She is uh, thirty two year old. She has curly uh, year ear and day red. Uh, she is uh, a Tall person. He has some color brown age. She worked in a pharmaceutical laboratory. Uh, she is very friendly. Uh, in likes to know uh, places. Um, she likes animals and also likes to watch Koran series. Wow. Lot of info. Very good. Thank you, Magdalena. Great participation. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue with Chrissy. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm going to describe my mom. My mother's name, Rina Garcia. She is a wonderful person. She is a beautiful. Her personality is serious. Her is, is, her is kind. My mother is a love, loving woman. Her appearance is a smile. Her hair, her hair is curly. She is, she has what skin. Salamente. Okay, thank you, Chrissy. Thank you very much. A very detailed uh, description. Jessica, and after Jessica, Maritza. I saw Maritza, uh, Maritza's message in the chat. After uh, Jessica, okay, we will continue with Maritza. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my mother, your name is Cecilia Alvarez. Um, is a uh, short and pretty, as brown the ages. Her name is. Her eyes curly. She is really likes listening to music and person serves. <laughs> Why well, good. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for uh, putting into practice a vocabulary transition and everything we have been uh, going through lately. Uh, well, I said Maritza, right? So Maritza, you ready? And after Maritza, okay. we're going to have Sara Abigail. Good afternoon. Good evening, she Maritza. My, my, is my, my work is, 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 she is, is new secretary. Uh, your name is Jamile, is a new girl. Uh, she had 20 years. Uh, she she is uh, she had um again skin. She is tough. 
the uh, hair high is black and the strain your head is black and the straight she, okay it just personality super uh, charming from in the smart uh, she is my word is and the she's and the new secretary she's a she's motiva me to English class she motivates you Wow, thank you, Maritza, for sharing such information. Good. That was quite good. Okay, now I think there is any, there is somebody over here, and that's Sara. Sara Vigagil. Sara Vigagil. Go ahead. Good, e good evening, everybody. I will describe my daughter. Uh, my daughter is sure also thin. She's four year old. Year old. She is black hair and web. She is a girl somewhat talkative. She is a study in college, learn English and computer. She also enjoys painting and singing. Mm -hmm. So her favorite color is pink. Her favorite it. color is pink. Good. Thanks for sharing that. Hey, people, listen, we're going to make a pause. Va a hacer una pausa. Pues creo que casi que todos participaron y lo hicieron muy bien. Ok. Great effort. Solo voy a, voy a hacer un paréntesis pequeñito antes de entrar al midterm. Y es con respecto a cuando dicen, um, bueno, les voy a hablar acerca de mi tía, por ejemplo. Y dice, I will talk about my aunt. Pero dicen, your name is, dicen, tu nombre es Carmen. Entonces me dicen a mí que mi nombre es Carmen. O, o, entonces, <risa> entonces hay que tener ese, ese cuidado, ¿ok? De hecho, la tarea que les va a quedar para la próxima semana se la voy a escribir acá en el chat para que no tengamos ese tipo de dificultad. Y que digamos... Si hablamos de Carmen, por ejemplo, el nombre de ella es. Entonces, vamos a, vamos a buscar eh, possessive adjectives. And also possessive noun case. So... No, okay. So then we have two, two topics for the next week. Okay. Todos a estudiar eso en, en los momentos que quedan de esta semana. Enfoquémonos. Yeah, sure, Roxana, sure. Uh, um, well, we're going to listen to Roxana also. She will introduce somebody to the group. Teacher, no sabe lo que ha escrito en el chat. Oh, well, creo que lo escribí solo a un participante. Ahorita lo corrijo. Gracias, Jorge. Yeah, exactly. So there you are, the two topics that I want you to be like, uh, studying a lot during these days. Okay, now yes, Roxana, you had your opportunity. Okay, teacher. Hi, everyone. Okay, well, I will describe to my mom. Uh, she, uh, her name is Annie. He's uh, 80, 82 years old, and I love my mom. And she is medium in the height, is medium. And she is chubby. Her dark is, her skin, her skin is dark. And her, uh, her hair is brown. My mom is very friendly, is honest, is lovely, is my, it's my uh, my love. Um, I believe uh, she she loves me. That's the reason I love so much my mom. Uh, 
I believe she is uh, the best mother in the world. I, adm I admire it to my mom. That's it. You admire your mom. She's your inspiration, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. I okay. don't hear you, teacher. Uh, I, I think she's I your... You. Uh, okay. She's your inspiration, right? Yes, yes. Uh, because my mom is very cute. She's very intelligent for this reason. I... For that way, I admire my mom. Excellent! Congratulations. Okay. She take she take she take, she take me. She takes care of you. Okay. Uh -huh. She take uh, to me. Yeah, she Is takes right? care of you. Takes care of you. Uh -huh. or... She takes care of me. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hey, great info, great presentations, people. Little by little. Now, Ligia. Of course, Ligia, go ahead. Ligia wants to participate also. Good evening. My description is of my husband. His name is David Mendez. He is 38 years old. He is a doctor. He is very tall and really likes to exercise daily. I first he is serious. But then you will discover that he is very joking. We will soon be celebrating or fear wedding anniversary. Thanks. Wow. Excellent. Great info. Okay. Physical appearance and personality. Well, uh, that was fantastic. Okay. Now let me see. Leslie wants to say something. Leslie wants to participate. Leslie Melara. Go ahead, Leslie. Good evening, Good evening. teacher, Hello. everybody. I uh, will talk about Anna. Uh, she is Anna. She is restaurant chef. She loves to cook, to, to cook and he does the cooking with love. Customer compliments. Hair on hair, delicious food. She is proud of her home. As 20, 20 years, she works in Sucre. Wow. Thanks for sharing the info. Excellent. Now, well, I, I have just been uh, paying special attention. Uh, Liliana, go ahead, Liliana. Wow, I that's why I really love this group. This group uh, in this group everybody participates and mm -hmm. I love when people participate. Liliana, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Today I try to describe my sister. Her name is Sandra and she has 25 years old. She's a little quiet person, but she likes uh, yeah, she likes to help other persons all the time. And she, her hair is red, and she's a little thing, mm -hmm. and that's it. Wow! Thank you, Liliana. Thank you. Okay, so I, I, I will make a parenthesis over here because I see that, uh, in algunos casos, algunos dijeron, uh, ella tiene y dijeron una edad, o él tiene y dijeron una edad. Para decir, ella tiene respecto a la edad, decimos, she is. Si es él, he is. ¿Ok? He has, uh -uh. she has, no. When we talk about uh, the age, we say she is or he is, or they are, depending on what we are trying to say. But that was quite good, ¿ok? Now, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna go over the midterm. We're going to work a little bit quickly because we have like five, 10, 15, like 15 minutes, okay? So I think we're gonna be able to finish with it, especially because I know that you have been working hard in the platform, which is something very important. Remember, we are at the, at the end of the second week tonight. Now, we are gonna complete conversations, okay? By using double question words. And in the first one, we have 
this option. Who's that? Okay. Who's that? Who's that? He's a new student, right? No, but listen. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Because I need to go over the, the midterm. I remember the first part of the midterm mid is... Um, it's a, a deal. I remember it's a listening. Okay, so I'm sorry, people. We're gonna go. We're gonna work in order. Okay, first the listening, then completing the conversation, etc. So, but first, the first exercise about uh, listening. Instruction: Listen to the conversation and choose the correct answer. Listen. Give me a second, please. Now, you remember, you're going to choose the best option. Do you listen? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 One to two quiz. Yes. 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 Okay, let's Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? Six. It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. Three. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Four. Or the oh, wallet. Oh, no. Where's my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Give me the correct answer. Second. 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 How do, Second. Spell, how do you spell it? C A C H H R Y. Thank you. Phone number. Stair. Thank you. Number three. Fair. Number camera. three. The camera. The camera. The camera is in his back. Thank it's you. It's camera. What about the wallet? Under his deck. Under his desk. Under his desk. Under his desk. Under his desk. Good. Great info. So listening is done and you succeeded. Now, yes, completing conversation. The one that we started in, in, a couple of minutes ago. Now, Matt, Matt starts like, like this. Tony, this is my friend. It's my Jennifer. No, but listen. It's Jennifer Miller. My name is... No. My, my. Tony. Her name. Her name is. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Jennifer is in English class. Nice to meet you. Her name is Jennifer. Yeah. What's missing there? Oh. My, my. Jennifer wow. is for our oh. Oh. Jennifer is in our English class. 
And the last one, what's last name again? What's yeah. your last name? Your? What is the last name? What is last name? Your. Her last name. Okay. What's her last, last name? Okay. What's her your... last name again? It's familiar. So we're going to check it. Okay, so you see it. What your... This one, what's your last name again? It's Jennifer Miller, right? So we committed a mistake over here. Yeah. Your. 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 In this one, Jennifer is in our. Good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. In this yeah. one, her, her name is Jennifer. Okay, yeah, great. So number three, completing the conversation again, but the, with different, different exercises. Excuse me, you miss Brown. R. 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 No, not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. Yeah. Over there, my name is Nicole Parker. She's. 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 Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, nice to meet you. It's. It's, it's nice to meet you. It's, it's nice to meet you. Well, we quite fast. It's good. She's good. I'm, it's okay. And R. Wow. No mistakes. Good. Next part in a very quick way. Now here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna choose the or check the correct response. No. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thanks to you too. Thank you. Thanks to you. Thank you too. Thanks. No, but thanks. I hear it said thanks. You too. Thanks. Thanks. You too. Thanks. 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 You too. You too. Thanks. You too. See you later. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hi. Thank how you. are you? Okay. Bye bye. No, no bad. bad. Nice to meet you. No bad. Not bad. Nice. Thanks. No Good evening, Beth. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello. How are you, Mr. Hello. Smith? Hello. 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 Sorry. 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 It's okay. Okay. So, hello. How are you, Mr. Smith? Good. Two, Not three, bad. four. For statements, wow, all of them, you got a hundred percent. Now, completing questions and answers correctly. What are? This. This. What is this? What are this? What are this? Yeah. What, what are this? What, what, what are this? This. this. Earrings. The earrings. Their earrings. Their earrings. Are these sunglasses? Are these your sunglasses? Are these your Are these? No. They're not. They're not. They're not. Is it not book? Is this a notebook? No. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's an address book. It's an address book. It's an address book. So, uh, hey, I forgot about this one. This one. No, it's okay. So, it's an address book. They. Of this. 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 Good. Good. Yes. Quiet. Good. No, no mistakes. So then we are one. We already solved one, two, three, four, five. Now six. Number six. Prepositions. Take a look at the picture. Look at the picture. 
They are on the briefcase. The keys. Is the city player behind the briefcase? No. Next to Next to the briefcase. No, it's not. It's next to the briefcase. It's next to the briefcase. Briefcase. Where is newspaper? Where is the newspaper? On there. On, on there. there. On there. It's under, it's the, under the briefcase. And and the it. last one? In front of. It's in front of. 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 Are the books in, in front, front of the city player? City. Yes, they are. So we're going to check it. Yes, I know. There's one on the next two. Um. Okay. I really like this exercise. And we're almost done. We're missing only two. Completing con the, the next conversation. Complete the conversation and write the correct answer. Example. Hiroshi, are you in my in my coffee Japan? Yes, we? Yes, we, we are. are. We yes, are. We are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are. Oh, you from Tokyo. Are you from Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? No, not plural. No, we we're are. not. No, we're no, not. We're not. No, we're not. From Tokyo, plural. We're, we're from, from. We're from. from. We're from Kyoto. We're from. What? We're from. Um, we. We. Oh yeah, it's only we, right? Thank you. We are. Our? Yeah, we are. It's actually right. We are from we're. Kyoto. <laughs> We're we're from Kyoto. We're from Kyoto. Good. Same story, right? Mm -hmm. So we're very finished, right? And in order to to finish this part, we're gonna complete the following statements. Look, ah, oh, he's a new student. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Look. Who's that? Thank you. I think his name is Chian Kuo. What's his name? 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 I think his name is Chin Kyu. Chan Kuo. Where's he from? 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 From for China. Where's he from? First one. Okay. Okay, excellent. Now, okay. listen, people, we're going to make a poll, so we already finished with this. Uh, Repeat. Possessive please. adjectives, possessive nouns. Okay, necesito que estudien possessive adjectives and the possessive noun case. Okay. Okay, okay. And, okay. And, also, and also don't forget to complete the activities in the platform. That's quite important. Well, I want to congratulate this group. Quiero, quiero felicitar al grupo por estar siempre atentos a participar, ¿ok? Y Thank a you. contribuir en la clase. Fíjense que ahora 
me sentí, me sentí complacido y me sentí eh, orgulloso de ustedes. ¿Por qué? Eh, son sus primeras clases, apenas llevamos dos semanas y ustedes hacen, han hecho unas presentaciones muy bonitas. Y, ¿cómo lo sé yo? Bueno, he notado que han practicado pronunciación, gramática, frases, etc. Ok, entonces eso me dice que vamos por, por buen camino. Y, este, de hecho, la tarea que siempre tienen pendiente conmigo es justamente para que, que puedan utilizar um, la información en diferentes momentos. Ok, enriquecernos de vocabulario para mí es, es muy importante. Ya luego, en intermedio, en avanzado, ustedes se van a ir dando cuenta que por qué les pedía yo tanto que llenaran esa alcancía de vocabulario. A mí me tocó porque yo soy, yo tengo muchos años de estar estudiando y más sin embargo, pues siempre sigo aprendiendo. Entonces, es un hábito que debemos eh, tener siempre presente. Todos los días aprender algo, ¿ok? Eh, sacar que unos 5 o 10 minutos para buscar la información y ya luego pues empezar a, a, a ver cómo lo utilizamos, cómo se pronuncia, etc. Entonces, pues la verdad pues que hicieron muy buenas presentaciones y um, hice algún par de observaciones respecto a la manera de utilizar possessive adjectives porque es importante y, por, y justamente por eso pues les dejo esa tarea también de investigar el possessive noun case y el possessive, eh, possessive adjectives. Okay. So, no sé si hay alguna pregunta respecto a lo que desarrollamos esta noche. No question. No. no. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Okay, Yo ya había empezado a a llenar esta hoja, esa, esa parte. Eh, pero me quedé a medias porque vi que ya era la hora. Mi pregunta es, este, si a veces nos adelantamos, ¿estamos haciendo bien? Porque después de llenarla siempre le doy enviar. ¿Habría mm. algún problema si estamos haciendo eso así? No, no. De hecho, nosotros les animamos a que avancen al ritmo que ustedes deseen, ¿verdad? Siempre y cuando completemos lo, eh, lo mínimo que es, digamos, las actividades de la semana. Por lo menos ahorita estamos en la sección 3. Debemos determinar todas las actividades de la sección 3 y el midterm. ¿Ok? Ahora, alguien pudiera decir, bueno, yo voy a investigar un poquito de lo que se viene la otra semana. Ver los videos, ir a los ejercicios, completarlos. Y perfectamente, pues, adelantar si así lo quieren, ¿ok? Si así, se sienten, si así sienten que están aprendiendo mejor. Cuando se equivoquen, vaya, por lo menos ahora vimos lo del, lo del Mitchell. Y ya ustedes, me imagino, la mayoría ya lo había hecho. La mayoría o todos ya lo habían hecho. Entonces, acá el repaso se hace para verificar que hemos hecho bien las cosas. Si nos damos cuenta que hemos errado en algún ejercicio, vamos y lo corregimos. Con el afán de, primero, aprender. Segundo, que el puntaje pues, sea óptimo para que nos puedan dar el diploma y nos promuevan al siguiente nivel. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, ¿saben que cuando me dicen que soy un buen teacher, eso me, me encanta porque eso quiere decir que tengo... Uh, excelentes estudiantes porque al que hace al, al verdadero ma al que hace el maestro no no es más que los estudiantes si los estudiantes aprenden porque eso es el meollo de todo si ustedes aprenden quiere decir que ustedes me hacen a mí un buen estudiante un buen maestro y por eso pues lo único que yo lo que hago es como decirles miren por aquí va el camino si ustedes aprenden esto más adelante van a ver los beneficios con más claridad. Entonces, creo que hemos empezado muy bien. Nos quedan un par de semanas más. Y, pues, espero que vayan preparados para el siguiente nivel. Si no hay más preguntas, observaciones, comentarios, lo dejamos acá.
Y les invito a que tengan un excelente fin de semana con sus familias. Thank Thanks, you. teacher. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.